Hey, 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 everybody. It's the Diva, and I'm back. Welcome to my mukbang. So today we are having chicken dumplings and Boldax Cabanara spicy, spicy, two times spicy noodles. Yup, yup, yup. And I'm going to try to use chopsticks. You can see I already don't know what I'm doing, right? No bueno, no bueno. Don't laugh. We're going to eat. Go grab a plate. Get something to eat. Eat with me. Chat with me. Let's talk. And do what I do best. Nyam. <laughs> Mmm. Mmm. Those dumplings are good. You guys know I got my water on deck. How good can you use chopsticks? I see people eating rice with these things, like seriously. Mmm. Mmm. Those dumplings are it. Mm. Lovely. So, you guys know that my hair is natural, right? Natural meaning it's not perm. But right now it looks different. Have you noticed? So everyone is asking Neva, did you perm your hair? Did you perm your hair? And I'm like, No, I didn't. I just blew it out. So, I blow up my hair, flat iron, and then guess what? It rained. So ladies, you know what happens when you blow dry natural hair. And then it rains. Yep, it goes poof. <laughs> it poof right back out. So let me tell you about my natural hair journey. I 
I did the big chop two years ago. And my hair was like, probably a centimeter long. <laughs> I like, I cut it all off guys, everything. I went to the salon. I told them, cut it off, cut it off. And they did. And the next day, it looked really nice, I must say. But the next day, I had no idea what to do with it. <clears throat> I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> I woke up the next morning, literally in tears. I went back to the salon to my hairdresser. I'm like, I don't know. I don't know what to do with it. It's not operating with me. I don't know. And of course, she laughed at me. She thought it was super funny. So she dealt with it, made me look cute again. And then I spoke to like a few people and they were like, you have to know what products works for you. I'm like, how do you know that without buying all of them? They're like, yep, basically. I went to the hair store took a few people advice I bought all kind of different products all kind of different products and majority of them did not work Some of them had my hair very hard. Some of them left like a, a white residue in my hair. So I was like walking around looking like I had dandruff or something. Something was going on. And it took me a while. before I found a product that works for me. I use Michael products, guys, Lisa. You can, she has a YouTube page. You could go to mycurlproducts.com and order the products. It's really nice and light on your hair. And I like that. I feel like a kid playing in my food with these chopsticks. these dumplings yum these noodles fine yeah they're hot they're really really hot guys
So, why did I decide to go back natural? I just could not do the permanent thing anymore. That part of my life was over, literally. I used to get so nervous every time I go to perm because I was always get burned. I was just so tired of burning out my brain cells. Just couldn't do it anymore. And it was the best decision I've ever made. I love my natural hair. Sometimes you have to embrace the real you, the true you. And love yourself for who you are. Mm. You know when you sit back in the chair? It's good. Water is good. When I was younger, I always used to hear everyone saying, oh, they don't like this type of water, that type of water. And I'm like, this water is too hard. This water is this, this water. And I'm like, I'm thinking water is water now. But as I got, as I got older, as I became an adult, I understand what they were talking about. But before I used to be so confused, like, okay, I thought water tasted the same. It doesn't. Guys, the dumplings, it was the dumplings for me. Whew. It was the dumplings. The dumplings were so good. So, 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 so yummy. The noodles are so, 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 so hot. Mm. Mm. That's it for me, guys. Do you know there are different ways to position your food? To like, if you're in a restaurant, to position your, not your food, your utensils, like your knife and fork, when you're in a restaurant and you want them to know that you're done eating. I think you have to, you put them together in the middle of the plate. And I think that's the signal how the waiter or waitress know that you're done eating. Yeah, you didn't know that, huh? 
I think so. I think I'm, hopefully I'm telling you the right thing. <laughs> but you can always look it up. But yeah, you just place the knife and fork together and you put it in the center of the plate and that's how you let them know you are finito. So guys, yes, <clears throat> I love my natural hair. I did not perm my hair again. I just blew it out and the rain would not let me be great. It's just poof right back out. But um, going natural is the best decision I've made. I love it. I love my hair. Sometimes the shrinkage, you guys, you know what I'm talking about with this shrinkage is real. But that's who we are, right? Who can guess what time it is? That's right, it's time for me to go. It was great <clears throat> eating with you guys, talking with you guys, but you know I gotta go. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up where you subscribe, hit on the notification bell so you could be notified of every time I drop a video. And until next time, guys, see you soon. Bye.